Oh my god, oh my god. Mom, get the camera! <laughs> Hey everyone, we're back with part 3 of our 60,000 comic and collectible haul video series. This time we got some first appearances, we got some keys, we got some English and American, and some really cool stuff. And if you see anything in this video that you like, you'll be able to find it on our eBay. And you can also use the 10% discount code featured here. So first up, we have this Fantastic Four 67, first appearance of him. I could tell you that this is like new, but I would be lying cover has had something spilled on it which has made it turn clear and as Homer Simpson would say if the paper turns clear it's your window to wait game uh, this is a sense copy which is always good I'm gonna say that this is in this condition it's just a it's just a fair we also have Astonishing Tales 25 um, which is the first appearance of Deathlock this is a UK variant which can be seen by the 7P in the top left corner. This was in a nicer condition, probably somewhere around a fine. Next up we got Flash 139, first appearance of Reverse Flash. The uh, front's a bit messed up and the back looks Me like up. someone's chewed on it. Yeah, it really tastes great these. I'd probably say this is a fair, um, considering the, it looks like it's been stored in a bag of water. <laughs> the staples are rusted and it's completely detached. Front it's completely gone. detached from what is left of the front and back cover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we could safely say it's somewhere between a zero and a one. Yeah, it's not doing good. That being said, it is a sought after comic. It will be for sale on our eBay. We also have three issues of Daredevil 131. The first appearance of Bullseye. They're all pens copies. They're all about a fine grade. They'll be on our eBay. We've also found this little gem. This is Batman's Detective Comics 475. And I'm sure you're all aware it's the biggest first appearance in DC. The Joker Fish. Really iconic cover. Everyone loves this one. It's always a favourite. It's not my favourite. Shut up, George. We also found four copies of Warrior Number no. 1, which I suppose many Americans may not have even seen this comic, but it's actually the first appearance of V for Vendetta from 1982, short run series. These are all in about a VG condition. We also found V for Vendetta parts 1 to 10 from 1988, uh, the first appearance of V in his own comic run. These are all in quite nice condition actually, but we'll be selling these as a complete set. We also found these, Mighty World of Marvel, uh, the British magazine, which is number 196, 197 and 198. They are the reprints of Hulk 180 to 182, the first appearance of Wolverine. So as you'll know, Hulk 180, Hulk 181, really hard to get hold of in good grades at good prices. These are pretty, these are pretty good, they're okay. Um, and if you want to read the story, it's all there, you won't have to worry about ruining a thousand dollar book. We have World's Finest 153. Now this isn't a first appearance of anyone, or even necessarily a key comic, but there's something on one of these pages that I would like to share with you. Right there. A lot of you may recognise this panel. Uh, it's become a pretty popular meme over the past 10 years or so. Batman giving Robin a good old slap in the face. Captain Britain with mask. But even better than that is that we don't just have one. We don't even have two. We pulled out... Oh, wait. There's another, there's another one. There's four of them. Yeah, we found four copies of Captain Britain. Number one, all with the mask. All in these sleeves, already bagged up nicely. There's not a lot of damage to any of these comics. They've been kept really well. This is definitely the better find of the past week. We're probably not going to put these up for sale, we're going to hang on to these a little bit. We may even send them off for slabbing. We know British books take a lot longer to come back from CGC, but it's probably worth it given the condition of these books. We also found, not really comic related, but we found 10 packs of Simpsons chocolate Christmas tree decorations. Like, 
These things went out of date like 20 years ago. Like, this, 2001, that's basically 22 years ago. Well, that's the end of this video because we're going to have to rush him to the hospital because he's eating chocolate that's 20 years out of date. We will not be putting these on eBay. We just thought we'd share with you some of the other things we find sometimes. It's not always comics in these boxes. We do find really weird things. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that smells horrible. Yeah, it's, it tastes like it smells at the top of your mouth, like a dirty tin. That's disgusting. Oh, one more thing. Uh, Sorry. If you watch the first video, you'll see uh, all the boxes arriving, getting stuck into the warehouse. We were told the other day that that's actually only half the boxes. We've got another 250 boxes turning up uh, in about a week's time. So we That was good all up until that point. So we're going to crack on and get the rest of this stuff sorted, bring you even more cool stuff. So stick around for part four. Bye. Bye. Bye.